Uh, you might not think it to look at me now. Back in school, I had something of a reputation for being the guy who could hold his own in a fight. Thanks for laughing. <laughs> I wasn't any good at fighting. I just learned early on. No one wants to touch you if you're already touching yourself. <laughs> something my ex-girlfriend used to say to me a lot. I know I'm not much to look at, but I do own a sex dungeon. So lock up your daughters, or I will. <laughs> my dad hates my tattoos, but he's a heavy sleeper, and I needed someone to practice on. <laughs> I recently tried becoming a sex worker, but the other people in my office have put in a complaint about me. <laughs> my youngest sister, Rachel, She's completely glued to her phone, a prank which I still find hilarious. <laughs> Three years later, I saw a woman walking down the street towards a twitchy-looking guy in a trench coat. I said, excuse me, love, if you keep going that way, I think that guy's going to flash you. She said, Willie. <laughs> I said, you'll probably see bollocks as well. <laughs> I bought a magazine off a guy in the streets. When I opened it, it was completely blank. There was nothing inside. I went back because I wanted to complain. Ended up just telling him it wasn't a big issue. <laughs> <laughs> My nan and granddad have been together for a long time. Completely inseparable. A prank which I still find hilarious. <laughs> Three years later. Now that my nan's getting older, she says she wants to move somewhere with less stairs. I said, you don't have to move. Just stop doing the garden in topless. <laughs> Before getting into comedy, I thought about becoming a musician. I even took guitar lessons for a little while, but I was rubbish. I asked my guitar teacher what was the problem. Why aren't I getting any better? He said, well, you seem to be struggling with the fingering. And I said, yeah, it probably would help if you knocked that off. He was a weird bloke, though, my guitar teacher. I remember asking him what the control was with all the numbers around the side. He said, that's the volume knob. I said, all right, you dick. <laughs> I was only asking. I turned up to my first guitar lesson. He took one look at me, took one look at the guitar. He said, I think you're going to need to replace that G string. You're getting ahead of yourselves. <laughs> I said, I wish you wouldn't make me wear it to lessons. LAUGHTER 